Welcome to a new vlog. In this video, we're going to be talking about PCB cleaning at a hobby level. It's a subject that I'm touching because I want to share a quick tip with you guys. So there are several reasons why you would want to uh, clean a PCB after soldering. First, depending on the type of flux you use, it might be corrosive for exposed metal if left on the board. Some fluxes are safe, some are not, so it's a good practice to just clean the flux after soldering. There is even a debate regarding no clean fluxes, uh, because some research suggests that in some cases there might be measurable consequences if left on the board. Second reason, there might be electrical consequences for leaving flux in a sensitive circuit. For example, it might affect the leakage current. Third reason is aesthetical. I don't like seeing flux residue on my boards, especially not on some commercial product. It doesn't look nice and it makes you think the manufacturer skipped a step by not cleaning the boards to save a few pennies. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com who recently upgraded their offer so you now get 24 hours turnaround time and you can choose any solder mask color for the same price of just $2. Prototyping is now faster and cheaper so it's definitely worth checking them out. Now regarding cleaning the boards at hobby level the best solution would be to use an ultrasonic cleaner with a solvent designed specifically for the type of flux you're using. Using this method will provide the best results, however you will need to spend some money on an ultrasonic cleaning bat and then you'll also need to buy the solvents and they are usually not cheap. Hobbyists with limited space dedicated to the hobby might also have a hard time storing all of this stuff, so as you can imagine it's not a popular option. I don't have one either. The other option for hobbyists would be to manually clean the boards and here we have a selection of options. You can go for one of these special electronics uh, cleaning sprays. They are all based on uh, isopropyl alcohol mixed with some other chemicals to help clean the PCB. Some come with this uh, brush attachment which can help you clean the board or you can just use a high concentration isopropyl alcohol and one of these uh, ESD safe brushes for cleaning the flux residue. Using these methods you'll notice that if you don't wipe the boards clean at the end you're left with this residue which is clearly visible on the solder mask. Having a compressor and uh, blowing that excess alcohol and flux away from the board uh, will help here. But once again, as a hobbyist, it might not be possible for you to operate a compressor in an apartment, for example. So the next best thing you can do is to use a paper towel and wipe the uh, isopropyl alcohol and take as much of the flux residue away from the board. But this comes with another disadvantage. You are now left with some lint residue from the paper towel. And in this example, I'm, I don't even have the sharp pins that you would normally have on an assembled PCB. And those can really tear up the uh, uh, paper wipe and uh, create all of this lint. There are dedicated alcohol wipes that you can buy and use for this purpose. They work great, uh, they don't leave any residue on your board, but I find them expensive at 20 to 30 bucks for a 100 pieces pack and they, they can have shipping restrictions. Not all distributors will ship these to uh, Europe, so it can be problematic in general to get those. But here is an alternative to that method. Have you ever used these LCD cleaning wipes they are widely available in every supermarket for two to three dollars in a pack of 100 uh, pieces and uh, they are the same type of lint free paper wipes that don't leave any residue and all you need to do is to soak them in some high purity isopropyl alcohol and you can uh, soak the whole bottle if you want to or you can soak them individually uh, while you need them. It depends on how often you will uh, use this because uh, if you don't use it very often and you soak the whole pack uh, the alcohol might just evaporate because it's not a, a perfect seal with this uh, cap. So I think it's a marketing scam or maybe a volume thing. Maybe they don't sell as many of uh, uh, the professional stencil alcohol wipes. Maybe that's why they are 10 times as expensive. But you don't have to rely on those. Grab yourself a set of these LCD cleaning wipes. They work just as nice for cleaning PCBs or stencil as long as you soak them in some high purity isopropyl alcohol. 
as you can see the lint is pretty much gone now after wiping it with uh, one of these uh, LCD wipes uh, it's really lint free so uh, even if there is very little residue that's from uh, the uh, first attempt when we used a uh, regular tissue so I made this uh, video to share this tip with you guys uh, it's really not worth buying those expensive alcohol wipes and I would appreciate some feedback in the comments let me know if you are already using this method or if you have a better one don't forget to subscribe maybe support the channel on patreon and I'll see you next week with a new video